Rolex watches. Are they still buyable in 2022 or have the prices gone so intergalactic nobody can afford them? Well, I know a man who knows all about this topic. This is Guy Bolton from Boatliff Hall and Vintage Watches. Go for it, Guy. Hi again, David. Can we buy them still? Should we buy them? Yeah, there's, um, I'd say at the moment there's, there's plenty on offer because um, prices have fallen and people are I'd say panicking slightly at the moment um, but it's an opportunity for um, I'd say more to buy than to sell at the moment. Okay because Covid came along and prices for Rolex went in what direction? Absolutely they just went only one way just it was changing weekly monthly. I mean I, I, I know I believe that you were buying watches back at more than you sold them for six months previously. Absolutely and we were we were crying out for stock then because there was such a demand for it um, but now we're seeing tables have turned slightly. It's just a quite a strange market, but I don't think there's any need to panic. And I think there's opportunities out there still. Do, would, would, would you say that this market, the Rolex market, is a bit like the housing market? You know, you have these boom times and then the prices level off, dip a little bit, but always bricks and mortar, m your money is safe. Are, are, are we still safe buying these Rolexes? Definitely, 100%, um, especially the pre-ceramic models, we call them the five digit references, um, sort of under the sort of 10,000 mark at the moment, sub 10,000 mark. Um, obviously we're still looking for nice pieces, full sets we call them, as, you, as we've talked about before, box and papers, and you know, there's, there's still, it's still a good market for those. So what you're saying is that the prices have, have, have dipped slightly. Yeah. Yeah, so peak COVID, what sort of money was that watch? If we'd say these we were changing hands sort of up to nine, nine and a half, they'd probably come down to where they should have been pre pandemic, um, to sort of eight and a half okay. now. So Okay. You know, so the thing is it's it's not the end of the world if you paid nine and a half. No. You, you might be down a grand or yeah. so. But it's all on paper, isn't it? It's like if you don't sell your house, you haven't lo you haven't lost any money. Correct, you're, you're, you're still wearing your watch. Yeah. And I think as so, we're in a bit of a dip. So it's a good time to buy, probably. Yeah. yeah absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So prices will fluctuate like everything else, but the Rolex market is bonkers. I mean, the question I often get asked is, all, all this mad money for vintage watches. Why don't you just go and buy one new? Well, it's just the simple fact is you cannot get them. There used to be a waiting list, now it's called an acceptance list. Well, they'll almost interview as a person and see if you've bought anything from that retailer, the Rolex agent in the past, and if you haven't, they will assess what you can buy to be able to, crazy enough, to, to, to aspire to the watch you've always wanted. It's, uh, it's a very strange process, but it's, it's simple as that there's just nothing, no, no way getting onto that uh, that ladder unless you have spent a fortune with them in the past. It's absolutely bonkers, isn't it? So, so the recommended retail price for, say, a Rolex of Mariner is like five and a half, six thousand pounds, say, as a round figure. That's what the price list is from Rolex, but you can't have one. As much as you might want one, you cannot have one. You can't walk into a Rolex shop and give them 6,000 quid and walk out with a submarine. You can't. You've got to be, you've got to wait to get on the waiting list. It is the most bizarre market, but it's a fascinating market. It is, it is. But it's not just that it always used to be um, renowned sports watches. There always, always was a waiting list, especially for the Daytona, which was a grail watch. But now it's across the board. It's just the date, just whatever piece there is a waiting list on whatever. Rolex now. This is why you won't see any stock in the window. And if it is, there'll be a small sign in the corner saying for display only. Yeah, in other words, you can't <laughs> buy it. No. Oh, what a position to be in, yeah. to be a retailer where you can sell more than you actually hold stock. It's yeah. fantastic. So generally the Rolex market is still looking... It's still very buoyant. It's obviously prices have just slowed down or come down, which they needed to be. So everybody sort of knows you know, as, as dealers, we're, st we're treading carefully now um, to buy as, 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 as we are pricing to sell, but it's, 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 it's balancing up slowly. So still long term, not a bad investment? No, not at all. Not at all. I wouldn't, I wouldn't panic at all if we're buying or selling at the moment. It's just, um, just riding the storm, I'd probably say at the moment. Brilliant. Guy, always a pleasure. Thanks Thank very you. much. Thank you. Good to see you, David. Cheers. Take care.